Pep Guardiola takes charge of his final game as head coach of Barcelona on Friday, but he could be back sooner than planned. The Spaniard has hinted that his self-imposed break may not last that long, something likely to put Chelsea on high alert. I will receive pleasure, uh, the, the, the pleasant. I will be pleased and to receive their calls, of course. And, uh, and, uh, but for the next month, I have to, to charge my, my battery, to charge my mind, and uh, I'm going to rest, and uh, I will wait. Uh, I will wait. I will wait, and when I, am, I will be ready, if one club wants, wants me, if they seduce me, I, I will train. I will train again. Chelsea are yet to decide on a new boss, despite interim first-team coach Roberto Di Matteo leading them to the Champions League title. Guardiola knows all about that. Chelsea beat Barcelona in the semi-finals before beating Bayern Munich at home in the final. I would have liked to have reached the final in Munich, and I think we played a good semi-final to be there. This is the only regret, and time will cure it. But as for today, I'm still sad, as I think we did all we could to reach that final. I have to congratulate Chelsea, because it is all their credit. If Chelsea are to look beyond Di Matteo, then Guardiola is one of few candidates who could boast a better CV. In four years, Guardiola has won 13 trophies with Barca, including two Champions Leagues and three La Liga titles. If the 41-year-old is to join Chelsea, he's certainly laying the groundwork for future relations with the London side's players. I think they're a footballer generation that deserve this Champions League title because they have given a lot for it. Going from Czech to Drogba, I'm very happy for those players because missing this title always leaves you a feeling. Now they've got it, so I want to congratulate them. Chelsea could face stiff competition for his signature, however, with managerial vacancies at both Liverpool and at Roma, a side he played for briefly during the 2002-2003 season.